Hey guys, it's Spaces Sims, and we are back with more. What is that? We are back with more Tengoku Struggle in now chapter 17 and 17 7 um and are we going to tell everybody what you did are we going to tell everybody what the birdie did today i was like hi he knows how to fly around the corner like when i'm starting to go upstairs and like catch you like if you're like and he's gotten to like where i'm on the landing because like my stairs go up there's a landing they turn you know um so he's gotten to the point where if i'm I walk around, I'm like halfway up the second leg of the stairs, and he just kind of flies around the corner and up and over, and it's like, oh, and today I was at the top of the stairs, and I'm like, come on, come on. He flew around the corner, flew up and over, and got to me. I'm like, oh, yes, I know. You're so smart. You're so smart. You're finally learning how to fly around the upstairs. But one of these motherfucking days... I'm like, though, that's probably a bad news for me because usually you just run up the stairs and you can avoid him because he's like, I don't know where you went. And he doesn't know how to fly around the corner and fly up the stairs. You can, like, chuck him over the railing. He'll fly down. He knows how to drop and fly down and around. He just doesn't know the up. He's getting better at it now. And it's like, oh, shit. I'm like, one of these days, you guys, I'm going to be sitting here recording and he's going to fly up over the railing, land on me and scare the shit out of me. And I'm going to fucking scream. And you're going to hear it. Probably. I have no doubt. Uh, because even though you, <laughs> life with a bird is literally not knowing when the fuck they're going to come flying around a corner at you. Case in point, how many times I've been like, Jesus Christ, bird! As I'm, like, leaving the bathroom, or you turn a corner, and he's trying to, like, fly around the corner to get to you, and you just don't hear him coming. Oh, good lord. You know, or you're in the kitchen, and then, like, you turn on the sink, and he comes flying at your face, like... <sighs> You know, for a fat bird. No, you healthy. I call you fat, but you're not. You know, but for... <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't had a heart attack for the amount of times I'm... Jesus Christ, bird! And I scream and I have a heart attack. Because he comes flying at you. You don't expect it. Thinking about the one time, like... Okay, this is probably TMI, but like... Living in this house... I live alone, so like ever since... Like, I... Leave the door open when I pee because the bird always follows me. So it's like, whatever. You can't. Kind of like having cats. You're like, you know, you don't pee alone. So it's like, whatever. I might as well just leave the door open. Nobody can see me. It's just me. You know, I close the door if people are here, obviously. But like, he didn't come with me. But then, you know, you, you're done. You're w going to turn to walk out the bathroom door. And he comes flying around the corner. Scared the shit out of me. I thought I was going to die. Because I didn't hear him coming, because you're like, you know, washing your hands, drying your hands, like, turning around to walk up there, you're like, okay, dude, ah, there's just a bird, it's flying through the fucking door. <laughs> but that's exactly how it's gonna be, you know, that maybe you're gonna figure out how to fly up the fucking stairs, and one day he's gonna be down there, he's gonna just fly up and over the banister, land on me, scare the fucking shit out of me. Especially because I have headphones on when I do this, so. This is my own fault. I've created a monster. I know. I have. You're so cute. Anyway. <laughs> We're working at the cafe today. And after that... Welcome! Ready to order. I'll be right with you. Huh. Thanks for waiting. I've got a Hell's Chicken Bowl and an egg with... Oh. I've got a Hell's Chicken Bowl with egg and a miso soup with everything. You need the check? Coming right up. Am I having fun? I'm getting deja vu. Did you used to be, like, a waitress back in the day at a tea, shop, tea house or something? Shit? I don't know. I'm sorry, we're a little full right now. Can you do me a favor and have a seat over there? It'll, do, it'll, be, it'll just be a minute. Wow. Thanks so much. I hope you'll come back soon. Sound effects on that cash register ringing up is like loud as fuck. My head itches right underneath my headset. Jesus. Time passed by in what felt like an instant. And now I've got a hair stuck in my ear. Oh, okay. This is just a train wreck. Wow. It's already two in the afternoon. I think I go on break soon? Hey, Hachan! You've never worked here before, have you? It's my first time. Have you ever waited on King Enma before? What's wrong? Did I do something weird? 
what's weird is that it wasn't weird at all. You were kind of awesome at everything. Huh? Do you think you might have worked at a cafe, like, when you were alive? That's what I was saying. Worked at a cafe. You know, I also felt like it was familiar. I've seen some TV shows about cafes from the human room before. I thought that might have been all there was to it. You girls never talk to customers with a smile like that, you know? The way you would say, coming right up, was so undeniably pro. That rhymed. You, you think so? That also Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. New girls never talk to customers with a smile like that, you know? The way you would say, coming right up, was so undeniably pro. You, you, you think so? <laughs> Why did it all rhyme? Why? Stop! My body just moved on its own, and the words came out like it was nothing. Wait, do you think you can remember something about your life? Huh? Calm down, don't strain yourself. Take a deep breath and try to remember. Slowly. 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 Can I really remember something? Nothing. It's okay, don't feel bad about it. Your skills today really helped me and Takamura out. Indeed. I do hope you can help us again. Yeah, if you have some time off from patrol duty, you should definitely come by. I glance at Sensei Nono, unsure if this really is okay for me to do. Of course, you must follow and prioritize King Enma's orders, but feel free to come here whenever you have the time. Yeah, but I have to have food, and you got food here, so... Cafe employee... I can't remember a thing about my life, but I don't think this was my first time. I felt... I felt it at the shrine, too. Like I'd prayed there before. Here's the thing. Do we know when we died? Like... Could they have given us, like... I mean, I guess that would be giving it away. But, like, King Emma would kind of know. But then again, I guess time in hell is... Weird. Since they're eternal beings and everybody that's there is, like, being eternally tortured... But you know what I mean? Like, he'd be like, oh, yeah, no, you lived in, like, the 80s. You know what I mean? Like, does he know when you died? Did you, were you, like, because, like, the idea that, like, okay, well, the shrine's been there for a while. We at least know that. Okay. But we don't know how long ago. Like, we know it was there when Kikunosuke and Sharku were, like, alive. Which was a while ago. From, you know, then now. Right? It's not like they died recently. Um, and, like, serving in a cafe or people you could have, like, worked in a tea house or something. So it's not, like, that kind of industry has existed for a while. She could have, like, you know, done stuff like this. Not like, oh, well, that just proves she's a modern girl. Like, you know what I mean? We don't really know. Because I'm just trying to think, because, like, again, the opening thing makes it seem like, oh, okay, you knew Goemon, you were together or something. Which would kind of hurt him if you were, like, you know what I mean? Together in that past life, he died, you died at some point, and, like, although at the same time, he's, like, 28, and you're, like, 19, so, like, dude, what were you doing? Dude. Well, back in the day, that was a little less weird. You know? Yeah. You know, I don't know. Like, yeah, anyway. And that scent, the winter Daphne's, can I really remember? And, like, maybe that's also why your dad's been wanting you to, like, go to the human room. That sounds like a great idea, like, to get you to remember something. Maybe he wants you to remember. You know, because he loves you. I keep doing things in the human realm... Can I understand what kind of a human I was? Yes. You've died once already, but that just means you can live in the hum you can live again in the human realm. I can never get his voice right. I don't even remember the voice we gave him in the first part, and every time it's different, but whatever. Yeah. He died. I was a transient without a single memory of the life I lived. I didn't know when, where, or what sort of life it was. I'm also kind of curious what happened to make her spirit a transient spirit. You know what I mean? Like was it something traumatic in your death so you forgot everything? 
But also the fact that then when your soul crossed over, it's not like you don't remember. Nothing showed up in that mirror either, you know? Is it because your soul doesn't remember? Maybe? Anyway. Ushichi, father, and Sensei Nono are so kind. And even Tama loves being around me. But deep within me, I felt this void. A hole in my heart I can't fill. And I've tried because you're missing a boyfriend. <laughs> kind of. I mean, it's an Otome game. That's the point. But also, I kind of hate that narrative that, like, there's a hole in me I'll never be able to fill without a man. Uh, well, that's what we're here for. So, you know, I can't begrudge it. Lately, things feel different. I go on Mount Ishikawa, enjoy new things. I'm pretty interested in what you're proposing here. It's like trying to grasp something intangible without shape. Like a cloud. I feel something. What was empty is starting to fill. Yeah, because you have a man harem. You know, I'll give you that game. If you're trying to tell me the hole inside of me that nothing can seem to fill and what is missing and it's a man harem? Yes. With you. <laughs> it's never a man harem. That's... By the time I realized it, it was too late. If it isn't the Lord Daughter of Enma. <laughs> really bad Christian Bell Batman impression, but I'm also doing, like, movie trailers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The moment I saw him, I prepared for my death. I won't be able to make it to the onsen. Not on my own. Not if I fall here. No. I can't let that happen. I'll make it back, even if I have to crawl. You have a cell phone, you can text. Don't worry. I don't cut down people who aren't sinners. Is he winking at us? Is Sword Daddy winking at us? Because, like, I'm okay with that. Like, we're giving you a dumbass voice, but, like, I mean, let's be real. You can only see his eyes and his luscious hair, but, like, I'm not against it. Huh? You were the ones who provoked my attack the other day. That's true. Even if I tried to run, I wouldn't get far. He would just cut me down from behind if I tried to turn and escape right now. I won't strike you down as long as you do not interfere with Lady Shinobikni. You need to leave us alone. Do you really think I can do that? Have we done anything wrong? Yes. I don't think that you repented. Lady Shinobikni tricked the dumbasses in heaven to throw it on the spider's thread to f get you fake pardons. That's pretty fucking wrong. So yeah, you done a lot. And you're lying to people telling them they can be pardoned and that's bullshit. So yeah, I mean, it just keeps, it just keeps stacking up there, buddy. With all the sins and issues and lies and things that you're doing, if you stack them tall enough, you could actually climb your way to heaven, but wrong way. But then it's going to be a hard-ass fall back to hell, bitch. You've tricked the people in the heavenly realm and escaped, didn't you? This again? He's like, oh, again? Jesus. We were saved by the beautiful spider's thread. This isn't going anywhere. Leave. From the human realm. I was gonna say, I have the right to be here too. Okay, in general. You think I'm just gonna listen to you? Have you not heard about me? About how you're Asa the Slasher? Also, I'm pretty fucking sure I'm allowed to stand here by these pretty ass flowers in the shrine of my dad, and you can piss the hell off. Because attacking me for no reason, I'm just here minding my own business, bitch. I prefer not cutting down women. Alright, well, that does make you better than our trash boyfriends. However, if you intend on getting in Leno Lady Shinobigni's way, I will do what I must. Single whip. It won't stand a chance. Wish I had a power that could help me fight. My desire is useless. I don't know. I think you filled in that hole to stop Jack from dying. I don't know what that's going to do here. Say it one more time. Go back to hell. I refuse. I see. Then you'll taste my blade. Whoa, sir! 
Aren't you dating Shino? Oh, that's not what you meant. Okay, never mind. <laughs> You expect this kind of shit, so I have to live up to your expectations. Dear me, what a frightening person to run into on a walk. Sensei Nono? Oh, okay, for a hot second I forgot what his last name was, and then I was like, wait, what? Okay. Yamada? If this girl so much as gets pricked by a needle because of you, you already know he'll not allow, to go, allow it to go unanswered. I do not know what you're all what you all are plotting, but surely none of you are this foolish. So, Lord Takamura has the king's daughter and her little rascals running around as his agents. Oh, all I am is an overworked corporate slave. I'm sure you intend on sending us back to hell. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Do, if, am I? Am I like? Not speaking words? Do you not understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Am I speaking a foreign language? Like, because I'm pretty fucking sure we made that clear a while ago. Like, the last time we ran into you. The time, the first time we ran into you, maybe not. It was just like, we gonna fight. But, but the last time, which was literally like yesterday, pretty fucking sure we were like, we're taking you back to hell. Because you guys are bastards. So, like, I'm not really sure why you just got here like you just got the memo. You're slow, bro. Nah, you fit in right with the guys in heaven, because they're just as... <laughs> uh, I've seen their handiwork. They couldn't pick me with a needle in their wild... They couldn't prick me with a needle in their wildest dreams. She's like, that might be true, but it's... Well, not mean, it's true. Never mind. Truth hurts. His flippant attitude toward us stirred frustration from deep within me. But Yon and the others were cut down. Even if I had something to say, it's pointless. Hey! Truth hurts! Rude. Told you not to prick me and you just hurt my feelings. Could have said that. I would not be so sure. The men here are fools and they may just be they may just make an attempt. Huh? What does he mean? I did choose the most stubborn, obstinate fools I could find in hell, after all. If that's what you intend, I suppose I have no choice but to cut you all down. And then I shall convey your message to them. Sensei Nono? I'll say it again. Don't interfere. Not with Lady Shinobikni. Or any of us. Sensei Nono, what were you even talking about? You were clearly picking a fight with them. Now why would you start shifting the blame on someone else? That's okay. You don't need to have multiple use of the word now in a sentence, Tim. Ronald. Jesus. Now why would you start shifting blame on someone else? And then, but now of all times. I get what you're saying, but it's like... It works in both places individually, but not at the, in, in both. But like... Anyway started this quarrel, did you not? I was merely helping. I didn't start the quarrel, I just showed up here and he was gonna stab me for no reason. Helping? How is that helping? About as sure as a scary one. But we cannot leave them be. Well, we just need to throw the boys in the onsen if they get cut up again. I can't cry to Sensei Nono or Father for help, but can I figure this out on my own? At my current rate, nothing's happening. Asking for help isn't weakness. Since I know no, I have a question. Yes, Enma, go ahead. Please tell me how to beat them. I know it won't be easy, but if you give me advice on how to do it, I'm sure I could see it through to the end. I know that neither father nor you are foolish enough to dispatch people with no plan at all. Sure, you have a plan to win here, right? Oh, there's no guaranteed victory here. Nothing's ever sure, and there's no guaranteed victory when it comes to fighting. It is possible for the smallest thing to turn the tide of battle. You shouldn't ask me how to win. My apologies. However, though not a solution to your problem, 
I can show you all how to hold your own in a fight. Really? Would you like to learn? Of course. Please teach me right away. And then let's go back to the Great King. You can show him how ready you are. They're like, huh? Oh, yeah, no, that literally is just whatever his chair is. He has got his giant fucking pimp coat just flung all back over it. It's amazing. Anyway. I see, I see. So you want to beat a Simon and his people no matter what. What a great attitude. Simply gorgeous. That's daddy's little girl. Father, please, tell me how to get stronger. So, daddy has something to tell you, sweetie. What is it? I feel his voice is different every time. I'm sorry. I just, I can't remember what we did. And like every time he shows up, I just can't get whatever it was back. That was the last time. I'm getting another bad feeling. But after coming this far, I can't back down no matter what might happen. <laughs> his little like face right now as he says this. Taro and the boys, they're all half-baked. They're useless. Huh? They do indeed have desires within them, but due to various circumstances, they've only activated about 50% of what they can carry. What kind of circumstances? Threads of agony. Threads of agony refers to the thread wrapped around one's soul, which is a physical manifestation of one's lingering feelings toward the world. Its existence prevents one from turning into Mame. Additionally... Pain is experienced upon trying to untangle one's thread of agony. Sounds like a Monday. Sure. I don't know what that is. When one's lingering connections and attachments to the world are too strong, they become a thread and wrap around one's soul, entangling it. Those boys have attachments strong enough to allow them to keep enduring the tortures of hell. Therefore, that thread is completely tangled up around their souls, restricting them. All of this to say, if those threads of agonies aren't completely untangled, Taro and the others are useless. They go off and talk so big about themselves, but all of them are just completely useless. Then, please, tell me, how do they untangle the threads of agony? No, no, what are they supposed to do again? I believe her strength is the key. Me? I'm involved? Your desire etched onto your tongue. It's called Tuner. Tuner, the protagonist's desire. She can receive the damage from attacks dealt to those she's close to and has a strong blood bond with. So this literally is get close, be besties, and we're going to literally, while well, they get abused, I'm going to take the pain. That, that doesn't, I don't, that kind of sucks. I don't like that. What, really? Uh, we got the short end of the stick here. Simply put, it gives you an extraordinary ability to completely remove the pain of another. However, in turn, you yourself will bear it. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. We became sure of its effect after what happened to Tamao recently. After he became your pet and pledged obedience to you, He'd once been chased around by some prisoners, if you remember. Back then, after he was caught in a trap, you took on Tamal's pain in his place, remember? Aww, look at his little leg. Hey, I got him! The cat from Enma Palace! Let's use him to get revenge on the Great King! Meow! Chief! Chief! <laughs> What's wrong? Leg hurts. That's right. The moment I heard Thomas' cries, my leg felt like it was being torn to shreds. Is that what happened back then? I wasn't trying to hide it. It happened so fast. I didn't know what was going... I'm serious! I thought I was just imagining it! Right. I was trying to forget about that. That happened, which spurred on my hatred toward humans and men, too. You know Daddy loves his sweetie so much, so he knew. Huh? And that's why I placed a seal on your desire. It would have been too painful for you to take all the pain from everyone you cared about. 
However, if you like, I can remove the seal. I am certain if you try to undo their threads, you'll experience an unbearable pain. I is that true? If you're truly ready, would you like to try and carry their pain for them? This power cannot hurt others. This power can only save. See, that sounds like a god power to me, not a hell power. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? If you're alone, it's useless. But if you find someone you care for... Actually, no, no. Why don't we stop all this? I don't want my precious little girl to get hurt. So this is the, like... This is how we fall in love with one of the chuckle fucks. Okay, I get it. Sure. Yes, let's call it off. And no one would willingly desire to be in pain after all. Well, I don't know. There's some people who are into that. What? No! I haven't even said my part yet! Tuner. I thought it was just a meaningless symbol, but is there actually a use for it? Is Okay, so like, it's not like I take the pain of all of them. It's going to be the person you care for. So like, Oshichi, we care for her. She's our friend. Right? We care for Tama. He's our pet. Right? So... Obviously, it's going to be whichever one we choose as a boyfriend. So is this, like, where we're leading up to choosing one? That would make sense, you know? Is there something I can do? Really? I... I'll do it! What? A daddy's against this! I don't want my little sweetie to go through such great pain! I can handle it. Did you forget I've been through the eight hells? Blades and spears don't scare me. And whips and chains excite me. We were waiting for that. Everyone was thinking it. You're ready to do this for some useless guys. They aren't useless. He's like, that's my girl picking out her man harem. Hell yeah! High five, daddy hell king. I know they're trying. That's why I want to do the best that I can. Sweetie, don't say something you don't mean. You've got nothing to worry about, because I mean everything I'm saying. There are two types of pain you can suffer. Like Nono mentioned, those boys who are in the human realm with you will suffer from the pain caused by their threads of agony. You'll be taking that from them. Yeah, well. Selfish. How do I do that? Trust in them and have them trust in you. Trust. In other words, strengthen your bond with them. Trust. Our bonds. Not sure I can do this, but I have to. I understand. The other pain is from the blood duel courts. That doesn't sound like we're gonna have a tea party. Blood duel court. The protagonist becomes a judge in place of King Enma and oversees duels between those with desires, with set rules determined between the opponents. Oh. Uh... The Blood Duel Court. I haven't heard of that before. I f they're just making shit up now. Well, I mean, <laughs> obviously the whole game is making shit up, but... But it sounds so... heavy. You already know this, but people in Hell aren't allowed to raise their hand against humans. In the same regard, attacking those who have become innocent is not permissible. However, those who have escaped are strengthening themselves through suspicious means. Probably because they removed Daddy's seals. This cannot be tolerated. I agree. Spacey. Y yes He suddenly called my name in a serious tone, making my body freeze. It's father's true aura. I grant you permission to fight the escapees. However, that will mean that due to your power, you'll take on the pain that the others receive during their battles. This will be a painful road. And on top of that, you're a transient, and not unlike an infant from the human realm. Your heart will likely suffer as well. Well, this sounds like a fun game. Trauma! Trauma train! Okay, well, we're used to it. The desire of humans is unending. You might, in some ways, see things more terrible than what you've witnessed in hell. If the... See, you're... Now I'm confused, because now you're making hell sound like more of a, You're like, what you're going to see in the human realm is way more terrifying than what we got going on here. Um... Wait. 
Wait, you just put that in the brochure to Laura's here, didn't you? Let's see what you're doing. Oh. I know what they're saying, but so. <laughs> do you still wish to continue? I do. <laughs> so weird when his little fucking hand staff just goes choo -choo -choo and changes. Like, peace. <laughs> no hesitation! Nice answer, sweetie. I'm serious. I promise to see this through. I trust that you will. As my agent, you may cast judgment in my place. I can't... F I forget which ones were ladies. Two of them were lit. Hot... The one that starts with an H was a woman, right? I don't remember. Hachi, your vow's made! Now bring back a Simon and the escapees! Tear them limb for limb if you like! Their bodies will return to normal here. Oh. Hachi, bestow judgment upon those fools. Shoko or one of the other... One I thought one of the S's was. Also, come back in one piece and be my wife. No. Well, to that last part. Hachi, you've been living with Goemon and those boys, yes? Have they given you problems? No, everyone's taking this very seriously. But then come back as soon as you can and be my... Oh, maybe it was Sote. One of the S's was a woman. I don't remember. I run it down. Anyway. Ah, gee, I think the fastest way to make Shoko and Taizan cease their babbling is to go and betroth yourself to a groom. That's not happening. Ah, gee, you better not find a man. So, date, Taizan, Haji's going out to fight. Precisely. Don't worry, Haji, I'm sure you and the others will see this through. Haji, we place such a painful burden on you, but this may be your destiny as well. Yeah, Henjo, because Hen. Like a hen is a female chicken, that's how I remembered that one. But I don't remember which one of the S's was a lady, was a lady king. I don't remember. My destiny. As a transient, I wonder, what might you find for yourself in the human realm? Be well. King Shinko, King Shoko, King Sote, King Gokan, King Henjo, King Taizan. Jesus Christ. Thank you all so much. I, Spacey Enma, will not disappoint you. The hall fell silent. No, no. Give it to her. Whoa, really? Right here and now? I didn't think you were my... Oh, no, that's not what you meant. <laughs> Listen. You didn't come here for appropriate. As you wish. A demon flame burst from the palm of Sensei Nono. It doesn't look like Agio or Ungio. Emma, please take out your phone. Sh sure. Just then, we get a new app. Ah. Uh, the demon flame went into the phone? That's probably not good for your phone, man. It's a synthetic spirit that I've been working on over the past few years. Synthetic spirit, an artifact spirit, an art of yeah, that has been artificially created, made through Ono no Takamura's application of a spell on a soul that was not strong enough to become an artifact spirit on its own. That was a lot of words. A synthetic spirit? Such a weird object, like the handcuffs. No, no, it's not weird. He's trying to help me. This spirit is connected to the Johari Mirror and the Great King. It can help you navigate the blood duel courts as we search as well as search the internet. Look at that. Double functions. See, that sounds really convenient. All you have to do is say, Hey, Hari, to activate it. It's hell, Siri. Hari, a synthesized artifact spirit that Onono Takamura created. It connects to the Johari mirror and King Enma through voice activation and helps the user navigate through blood duel courts while also providing information. Hey, Hari. Okay, got it. And also, for the future. Sensei Nono dropped a small key into my hand. Secret key. Please, use it. For the room on the first floor. Thank you. Uh-oh. You can ask for directions on how to use Hari from Hari itself. Now, I'm sure you're ready to head back to the human realm, yes? Um, not particularly... Well, I suppose I want to tell the others all about this all as soon as I can. About all of this as soon as I can. 
Uh huh. Meow. Yeah. What is it? You have something to say. Please say it. No, nothing really. Just don't forget, sweetie. You are a transient, and most transients are empty and simply disappear. Father? Just be sure you're careful your soul doesn't vanish before you finish what you need to do. Uh, okay. He's right. I've just been actually having fun since I've been in the human realm. And my anxiety is about that isn't so big lately. However... Daddy loves his sweetie, so I'll make a bit of an early promise with you. When you come and bring back those escapees, I'll give you a soul preservation certificate. Soul preservation certificate. A special document provisioned by the Seven Kings together that can bind a soul to hell. Huh? Really? Daddy doesn't lie. If that's produced, your soul will formally gain a membership to hell. Why haven't you done that before? If you love me so much, you're just like, whatever, I hope you don't disappear someday. I, you know? I mean, okay. It just as he issued me, someone who was supposed to enter the heavenly realm, a soul preservation certificate to employ me. Right. You'll become a resident of hell in both name and truth. You'll be able to stay at daddy's side for eternity. You know, that sounds more like a punishment. You won't just be a provisional hell guardian. Father, does it make sense for me to believe this is possible? This mission is high stakes and high reward. But again, like, I get it. You're just like, but like, you know, oh, look, a little transient. I'm going to take her under my wing. Okay, but like, if you loved me so fucking much, why wouldn't you have issued one to me? But I guess it's one of those, like, we can't just issue it willy-nilly because you could just issue it to anybody. We got strict rules on it, so, you know, okay, I guess. But it just seems like they keep throwing little things in here that it's like, this doesn't feel like it makes sense. Like, I'll give you a certificate that means you can stay here forever and you won't just poof out of existence. But if you love me so much, why didn't you... You know... Like... They're throwing in a lot of little things that they're just not tying together, I guess is basically what it is. It's like, okay... And now there's this. Okay, now there's... Okay. And like, yeah, I get it. Some of the stuff that we're talking about here, our desire and all of this, we weren't supposed to find out right away. Okay, this is where we find out. But then they're just... I feel like then they're just throwing things and like, it's just a bunch of extra shit that you're like, did... Is this... Like, it doesn't take away. Like, saying like, oh, now you can... We'll get you the certificate so you can stay and you won't just poof out of existence. But they didn't really make it seem like that was a, an issue. That now all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's an issue. Like, I mean, I know they brought it up like, oh, I'm a transient, so I technically should have poofed out of existence. But he took her in and gave her a purpose and that kept her tethered here. Okay, cool. But they've never like really, even if it's like, oh, I could just poof out. It wasn't like, I could just poof out of existence tomorrow. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's just me. Me, I have not felt that that was like a concern. Like, oh my god, that could be, like, a bad ending where she... Did, like, like oh, oh now I'm supposed... Okay. Yeah, they told you that that's what a transient soul usually does, but, like... They haven't made it feel like since she found a purpose and she's here that... That that's ever been a risk at that from that point on. But, like, now all of a sudden it is. And it's like, okay... I feel like maybe they'd explain it better... Like, maybe it's because, like, because something he said earlier, like, oh, you're transient, so you're, like, like an infant in the human realm. You're kind of fucking soft and squishy and easily breakable. So, like, if you're taking on all of their pain, you being a transient, because you don't have any kind of strong ties to anything, because you remember nothing, could tether whatever connection you had that was keeping you here and could basically, like, make you disappear type of thing like I, I get maybe that's what it is but it's like i just explained it a little better i guess eh, whatever whatever a soul preservation certificate a special document issued by the seven kings that binds a soul to hell plus all of the kings are trying to marry me so you think that'll all turn one out if i had one i'd never disappear father i promise you once again i spacey and my vow to return the escapees Yes, I'm counting on you. I'll be heading back to the human realm now. Please excuse me.
What happened? Why are we moving? Like... Okay. No, it, there really... I clicked the button and it was just nothing. And I was like... What's happening? Anyway. You're very good at making use of both the carrot and stick. She's my precious little girl, after all. I look forward to this. Our actors are set. Wonder what sort of chaos will take place in the human realm. Oh, my heart flutters. Look, he's all blushing now. <laughs> I love this. You're a weirdo. You know, you're a really creepy guy. And that's all I happen to be known for. Ha <laughs> ha! On, on. <laughs> His little demon flames were laughing at him, too. Hellgate guard, hello. Please open the gate. Daughter of King Enma, you may pass through at any time. My desire, Tuner. I was always, always afraid. I couldn't remember a thing about myself. I thought I could disappear at any moment. That's how empty I thought myself to be. Maybe you have that desire because you just want... I would have taken on the pain for my love, Goemon, but no, he died instead. You know what I mean? Maybe you died for him. And that's why you don't remember, because it was so traumatic or something. I don't know. I'm just saying. But now... I'm back! Hey, hey there. Did, did something happen? You seem upset. Everyone, please take a seat. We're gonna have a strategy meeting right now. And this is so out of the blue. Come on, hurry up, everyone. That smile is very creepy. You're planning something evil, aren't you? Rude, but I'm in a good mood, so I'm gonna let that slide. You should tell us why you're in such a good mood. Sensei Nono told me how we can beat the escapees. Y yeah? Well, how? You all just need to have a little faith in me. Huh? If you trust me, my desire gets stronger. The corporate slave must have tricked you into believing something silly, huh? We can do this without your help. Yeah, we can do this on our own, 100%. No, you can't, because you're 50%, and you're basically useless. Kiku, you're talking too much. No, oh, oops! All of you already knew, didn't you? Wait, is that why you're all being so nice to me? No, we just felt like it. Didn't mean a thing. We weren't trying to be nice to you at all. This, I love him so much. He is literally the perfect little salty cracker in me. He's like, what? No, I'm not nice to you. Well, being nice. Stop it. Shut up. You've got pretty hair. <laughs> oh. No. Is this why they were out so late? Because they went to Enma Palace? They asked about my desire? No, they wouldn't worry about me. Don't you want to win? So they went and, and our father was like, Oh yeah, no. If you guys trust each other, then she'll take on all your physical pain and your emotional pain and all the pain. And they're like, Yeah, that would be kind of mean to do to her. Despite the fact that they were like, What? Fuck her. We hate her. And then now they're like, I don't know. That seems kind of mean, guys. I have, I'm with her on the, What the fuck happened to these chuckle fucks? I'm not complaining. It's kind of nice. They're like, God, we hate you. But I'm not going to, like, dump all my pain on you. That'd be douchey of me. God. While simultaneously being giant fucking trash bags. <laughs> I'm so confused. I love it. No, but I mean, like, obviously they're going to turn into, like, fucking marshmallows and cupcakes. Come on. Not by putting faith in something that sounds a little too convenient. We're no fools. You're going to take on our pain? <laughs> Don't be an idiot. You could never. Yes, I could. You know, no way. That's it. Conversation's over. Oh, or were you trying to be nice because you didn't want to let me, or you just, like, don't think I can handle it? Because that's a little, like, yeah, that would be mean to do, but also she couldn't handle it. Okay, that's a little more like them. You know, like, oh, that's nice, and there's, there's the jackassery. Okay. But this is the only way. You don't know that. What's wrong, Kikonosuke? You're not worried about me, are you? I thought you hated women. Listen, that's not the issue here. Is it because 
You don't think you're strong enough? Huh? Despite your big talk about never losing again, do you really plan to do just that? Oh, oh yeah, wear them down with your words. Good, good job. Do you think it's okay if you all stay weak just because my life might be put in danger? No, idiot. Of course not. I'm confident we'll win next time. We're gonna have a total victory. Fiona, you seriously need to shut up. Today of all days, everything you say is so stupid. Uh, s sorry, I didn't say a thing. Not a word. Warriors never go back on their word, right? I read that in a book once. N no, about that. I don't speak another word. You too, Kikonosuke. They nodded vigorously and repeatedly. Like... <laughs> Then tell me what your then tell me what your big plan is. There won't be any progress if you only reject my plans without offering your own. Don't you do it. So you knew, didn't you? Oh, so you knew, didn't you? Last night We didn't go. Hmm, I'm starting to understand these men. I'll save myself some time if you all understand all under I'll save myself some time. If you all understand what's happening here. God. It's settled then. It's not settled. We have no idea what you're going to suffer from. Well, I'm a woman and I've gone through all of the eight great hells. Hello. Also, I go through the great hell once a month, motherfucker. And I have emotions. And I have to deal with you assholes. Just men in general. Fuck off. You couldn't handle being a woman for a day. <laughs> I'm not saying whatever trauma they've suffered through we could handle. Because, like, individual people's trauma is not, like, you know, that's sexist. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you yeah, but, but now we're having a battle of the sexism right here. So that's why it's okay. Well, like, seriously, whatever they've dealt with and their traumas and what's holding them back and, like, all their pain and emotional scars and stuff like that's different you know whatever you've dealt with you don't know what another person's gone through so like and how they handle those things so like oh yeah fair and we gotta take it on fourfold like that's that's a lot so plus the physical pain yeah i can understand them being like it's not well you're a woman you can't handle it it's the that's like four people's worth of emotional fucking trauma for like centuries <laughs> like that's a lot you know I'm against this. And a suggestion, if you please. Uh, I think. No, I'm sure of it. They're very clumsy, but actually very kind. Well, maybe. Then get stronger. Get stronger so I won't suffer even the smallest little scratch. Get stronger so you won't ever lose to anyone. Does that bother you at all? Or are you okay with letting them run free? What did we come here to do? Well, you... I have a point. You're going to just run away after that disturbing declaration of war against us. Aren't you all tired of losing? But you... No way. Are they actually worried about me? And I love the fact that you... Are you worried? God, no! Fuck off! Jesus! I love it. We're gonna get rough with you! <laughs> Even after what they told me at the start, I can't run away anymore. I have to see this, this through. I want to... I won't run! Well, I know I'm not the... I know I'm not the one who's gonna be fighting. Sorry to make such a bold claim. <laughs> Girl, speechless. If you can't get on board because you're worried about me, then I've got good news for you. Where's the group of heinous villains who told me they'd get rough with me before? Show me how evil all of you really are. And they're like, that was just an act. They don't want to be evil. <sighs> I just want to wear my cute little butterfly crop top and paint my nails. And maybe we could braid each other's hair later. Like, why do I always have to be evil? <laughs> if you can't bring yourself to do that, then I'll ask Sensei Nono to find me people who can. What? Give me your answers. Now. They were the ones who, re who were really frustrated. I knew they wanted to win. If so. Yes. Goemon! 
We have to do this. You're right. We have to. Hey, you saw how badly that crazy guy hurt us, didn't you? I've always looked forward to being in an onsen, so I welcome it wholeheartedly. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared, but I'm not going to run away from this. If I'm able to help, even just a little bit, then I want to try. If I were to run away here, the name of Goemon Ishikawa, the worst villain in the eternal hell, would be tarnished. Do whatever it takes to win against them. And I've decided I'll punch the hell out of the old man and that corporate slave. Punch them. Yeah. They're forcing us to do this. I'm gonna get one good hit in two. Okay, then. My name's Yona Murakami. We know that. <laughs> and they'll all see what an Inoshima pirate's made out of. I love him so much. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to love him as much. You know what I mean? Like, Goemon's beautiful, so I kind of love him a lot, too. Jack's kind of hot. We don't really know much about him. But I'm here for that. But Yono's, like, really winning me over. He's just... He's got the little fucking... He's that salty little fucking marshmallow that I love so much. It's like, you are such a tool! God, I'm gonna love breaking down your walls. It's, he's perfect. Well, I guess I could stay and join in. As long as I'm in the human realm, I can go to the arcade whenever I want. Pretty sure. Well, I guess. I don't mind sticking around. I'm worried about the, what the redhead... Or the redhead or the dog might do without me. Me again? It's always you. Okay, are you two going to kiss or what? Always by your cell side. Hellnet Takamura. Good day to all our Hellnet Takamura viewers. Today we'll be looking at this lovely barbecue. This grill is unbelievable, made from powdered bone. When you cook using the Revival Hell's famous charcoal, you get some insane flavors. The Hellnet Takamura storefront on Enma Street is the best place to buy it. This is a hot item, so don't wait. All right. We need that. Huh? I'm gonna go get it. Going on? What are you even talking about? I was wondering why we had a random TV ad about a grill, and I was like... Are we going to go buy a grill now? And so the answer is yes. And I'm like, are we going to have a fucking barbecue party? Yeah. I want to eat some meat. Uh. Okay, that's it. We're going. Wait, I wasn't... Come on already. And then we're going to get on our bikinis and we're going to have a cute little onsen party. We got the last barbecue they had. I'm so happy we made it. It's expensive, but everybody loves them. Why? Why am I out shopping with everyone right now? <laughs> why? Why in the world do we go buy a barbecue so randomly? That's what I love. It is so. It feels so random, but you know he had a thought process. Obviously, he wasn't just like yes. He was like yes. Okay, so we're gonna have a barbecue and we're gonna celebrate. And he just had this whole plan, and he's like, "That's it. We're going now." And now here we are, and we're very confused, but it's so adorable. Oh right. Is it okay if we go to Ura, too? And there's a shop there with all kinds of alcohol. Nice, let's stock up on a bunch. We're having a fucking booze and barbecue party. I love this. Right as we were about to turn a corner, something in particular caught my eye. What nice colors. Oh my god, we all get one. They look easy to hold, and there are exactly five of them, too. I just, we get rainbow fucking mugs. Lord Hellguardian? What are you staring at? Oh, huh? oh, nothing. Were you looking at those mugs? I wish they had cute cats or something ridiculous on them. So we were like, yeah, you know. Hey, these aren't bad. Here's my favorite color. Maybe I'll get one. I'm gonna go with yellow because your letter is yellow. Oh, there. Oh, there. These would be great for coffee. Can I recall some moron broke one of our cups? Hey, are we orange? Because I it's always weird to me because like Goemon and I have a very similar color. I'm assuming we're orange and he's red. There are five here, but if I were to get them, would everyone use one? What? Y you dumbass. No way. I'm not going to have matching mugs with some woman. I will. Yeah, he's red, I think. Goemon? I want the yellow one. 
Kikonosuke! Well, how about I buy them? No, I want to. No, no, you don't want one. What? Fine, then. You want me to that badly. Uh, I'll use one. Look, he's blushing. He's like, what? I'm not gonna... Okay. Okay, fine. I love him. God, I love him so much. He might be my favorite. I just love... I love the salty fucking attitude. It gets me every time. Oh, the cup's heavy. I'll carry them. Like, go I'm on, like, starts off, like, yeah, they all start off, like, oh, we're dicks, but he's actually always been the cinnamon bun over here, okay? Like, Kikonosuke's literally the fucking dog, the golden retriever of the group. Like, quite literally. Like, yeah, wolf, whatever. You're a fucking golden retriever, 100%. Oh, he's got an attitude, because they're all supposed to have attitude and whatever, but he's still, like, the little golden retriever puppy. Like, okay, you're adorable. Um, and, you know, Goemon's actually the cinnamon bun, surprisingly. For being the, like, giant fucking most evil person in the, in hell. But you're like the softest little fucking thing. And Sharnaku's the snotty little whore. Because he's the whore. But he's the snotty one. They all, again, they all have kind of like that bitchy attitude. Like, yeah, whatever, you suck, I don't like women. But like, that's their surface level, but you know the characters there, and like, but God, you know I like the salty crackers. But I love them. And we know nothing about Jack. He's the weird one. <laughs> Guess. Oh, he's the stabby one! Somebody's gotta stab me! Aside from a Saibon. And, you know, one of our love interests has gotta be stabby. Oh, to be fair, all of them kind of are. I guess. Look at that, it's a game full of stabby ones. Didn't even... It took me this long to fucking put that together. I... I mean, it was obvious, but it was like... So obvious I didn't really think about it, you know? <laughs> Thank God. Anyway. It's okay. I bought them, so I'll carry them. They're not that heavy anyway. You're about to buy a lot of drinks, too, right? Well, yeah, but... No dice. We'll have to get rid of them. But no, if we do that, they're just gonna come back to life. What's up? Is there a fight going on? They have silk triangles on. I'll talk to them. Mm, can I help you with something? Are the two of you having problems here? Daughter of King Enma, you really are here in the human realm. Yes, I'll be staying here for a while. What are you about to throw out? These. The boy showed me some plants that had yet to be sold. There were five of them, their leaves withering and turning brown. We can't sell them, so we'll have to throw them out, but... I need plants. I'll buy them all. What? My lady? How much? No, we couldn't possibly ask for money from the daughter of King Enma. Please, don't give me special treatment. I have money. I can pay for them. No, King Enma will punish us if we make his daughter pay for anything. Even father tells me to pay for my things. But we can't sell these. Look, they're still sprouting new leaves. See, I'm sure they'll be okay. How about in exchange for payment, you promise to nurse these back to health? I heard a sincerity in his voice. He truly cared about these plants. I appreciate your perspective. You're a very decent person, but I can't sell you trash. That's just bad business. But... Please! We can't bring these back to hell, so please take care of them! I'm sorry all of you ended up carrying stuff. Don't be silly. We're here to help. This is nothing for us. You're being nice to me now. Look at you. Sexy little marshmallow. Can't see his freckles, but he does have freckles. Oh, yeah, I see. So that's what it is. Yeah, I'm sure you're too good to ask for help from us lowly prisoners. I was being so stubborn back then. I feel like such a fool. I really can trust them. Lord Hell Guardian, do you like plants? I think so. I don't dislike them. I gazed at the wilted leaves. There aren't a lot of plants in hell, are there? Since the environment's too harsh for them. Oh, that's true. It was incredible seeing all the green around the human realm when I first got here. And... It's still pretty empty in my room. I've been like that since we arrived. Everyone's bought stuff they like, right? Like the beach beds or the cat tower. 
Wait, that was just... Your hat's nice too, Sharaku. It suits you. Uh, do compliment me out of the blue like that. I almost dropped your precious mug. <laughs> We're like, your hat looks good on you. And he's like, oh my god, are you being nice? I love it. Oh, sorry. Anyway, I just thought it'd be nice to have some plants in my room. And that's a good idea. Then taking care of them will feel nice. Yeah, I'll take really good care of them, too. You're really weird. <laughs> you know what? Pin me up against a wall and say that with a little more aggression in your voice, though. Like, God, you're so weird. Oh! But actually, the, you're really weird. Like, yeah, I know. <gasps> I don't know why, but like, you know. Yeah, I want you to just pin me against a wall and call me an idiot or whatever, because that's just the standard thing that gets me off. But like, just in general, though, like, you're weird. Just a simple statement like that, and you're like, <laughs> it warms my heart, I love it, because yes, I am. She really is, huh? You're responsible for them now. Don't let them wither and die. <laughs> I'll do my best. Huh? The kid walking over there. Who is it, Chin? Oh! Hello, Fujimori. Whoa! He jumped as I called out to him from behind. Quite literally. It, it's you! We're having a barbecue tonight at our place. Wanna come by? What? A barbecue. Look, what are you going on about? Please don't come near me anymore! You don't like barbecues? Please listen when someone's talking to you! You're supposed to be older than me! I just thought it'd be more fun with more people there. Huh? There are no chance meetings, right? Isn't that what they say? We should be friends. Uh, uh. So how about coming to our barbecue? I, I, uh, I'll have to pass. Really? Look at the poor fucking awkward child. I, I have somewhere to be. It's really bad timing, but you know how it is. Yeah, I understand. Sorry for the sudden invite. It, it's okay. But come by to eat another time. Huh? If not, I'll just make sure we can catch up next time I see you around. What? Uh, d don't. Please. If you talk to me, you'll turn into a dweeb. It's so funny because he's like, please don't talk to me. And you'd think like that should be like, oh, okay, you don't like me. But it's like, you knew damn well. It's like, oh, don't talk to me because like, I'm so, uh, like, because he was like, I'm a dweeb and nobody likes me. And then ran out and you're like, what the hell is wrong with that weirdo? Anyway, that's fine. I wonder what'll happen to me if I do become one anyway. What are you talking about? They're waiting on me, so I have to leave, but we'll catch up again soon. N no! Come say hi next time, okay? I, I love it. This poor kid is like, nobody likes me, so you won't be friends with me. And we're just trying so hard to be friends with him, and he just does not fucking get that. Sorry, I'm back. He turned you down, huh? Don't do that. I tried to invite him to our barbecue, but he had plans already. He's a pretty weird kid. I guess so, but I hope he comes by the house one of these days. You should have just grabbed him by the neck and dragged him with us. Don't be so crude. We can't kidnap children. Go on, Mom, we don't kidnap kids here. I mean, we're from hell, but like, I just, I still think there's lines we shouldn't cross. Yeah, one of these days, when we get a little closer. Is this all we need from here? Okay, so next we just have to hit the grocery store. Over there, on that monitor. Hi, everyone! It's virtue ranking time! I know we're a little over time, but that's okay. The zombie! Virtue ranking? Don't tell me. This is, of course, for all those new Johto users out there. We'll be announcing these rankings every day. Now then, allow me to share the results on our glorious first day of announcements. Number one is Rei Nish Nishikikoji. Nishikikoji. Okay, that's a long ass name. Anyway, with an offering of unbelievable 10 million yen. Yeah. Oh, this is just such a money scam. 10 million? That guy's insane. Who the hell is that? Nishiki's amazing. He really must be rich. They say he has the most money out of anyone in Japan, after all. He does live streams, too. 
Poemon was watching the screen on his phone with a somber look. Rain Nishi Nishiki Koji. Can't really. He's the head of Nishiki Koji conglomerate. A group with stakes in electronics, convenience stores, and online banking. No way! That woman got him! Well, that's the only thing that makes sense. Ten million for a child's prank like that. It's amazing! Ten million! <laughs> You'll be okay as long as you complete missions through Johto, but our charity system is set up for those who want a, who want a guaranteed salvation! You can start your offerings with just one yen, so please give as much as you'd like. Yeah, see, I told you it was a fucking money scam. Come on, you watching this broadcast? Install the app. Let's go to the heavenly realm together. A zombie. Wow, I guess some people actually invest money into this thing. If Nishiki Koji's doing it, maybe this is real. Ugh. Damn it, how can they believe that? Maybe it's because they're in Asakusa. No, it's because humans will believe anything and pay for anything to fix their problems. Like, you know. That's how the diet industry keeps existing. You need this! You know what I mean? Like, no. You don't. You don't need all the special things. You know what I mean? Like, all the fad diets and it's always like, 1995 or this. You know what I mean? Like... Diet pills and all of that and, like, snake oil. So, like, this is just snake oil for your soul. Like, you know, so. And because of its connection to hell, it's not exactly the weirdest thing that's happened here. I'm not sure everyone actually believes they can go to heaven through that app. It's mostly just a new way to waste time. That, too, we're all bored. Looking at how a Simon and those dorks are dressed would normally be out of place. I mean, here humans don't bat an eye, right? Right, that's definitely a factor. Well, if we're talking about looks, how old man Enma dresses is most out of place. For better or worse, Asakusa is pretty open-minded about anything unusual. Like, Buff Daddy wearing a, like, baby tee? <laughs> People aren't going to be throwing stones at us because of that, but it also gives the other side more freedom to do as they please. Come on, let's just go to the grocery store. Going on? I'm watching that stupidity was just disheartening. Well, let's get ourselves in gear and go nuts, boys. We'll be alright. I'm sure of it. Me and my friends. We'll see this through. Oh, we're friends. And then we're gonna fall in love. And <laughs> get married. And thankfully not have babies, because we're Denzians of hell. So there you go. At least that's off the... Oh, God, I hope. That would be my hell. Anyway, <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up. Oh, you chirping you people? Big thumbs up. And subscribe to see more.